essential learning competency in this session is formulate the null and alternative hypothesis of a population mean. Let's have this. Give the null and alternative hypothesis of the following statements. One, the owner of the factory that sells a particular bottled fruit juice claims that the average capacity of a bottle of their product is 250 ml. Is this claim true? Let's see. So we have the null hypothesis, the average capacity, capacity of a bottle is 250 ml. So in symbol, this one is 250 ml because of the word is. So that is equals. So our alternative hypothesis would be the average capacity of a bottle is it can be not equal to, not equal to, so it can be greater than, or it can be less than. Okay. 250 ml. So, in symbol, this one is alternative is not equal to 250 or it can be is greater than 250 or it can be it's less than 200. Example number two. The researcher wants to know if online learning has increased the average grade of higher students from 80%. So if we'll try to analyze this, online learning has increased. That means to say increase that is greater than 80%. So if we'll try to analyze it, that is under alternative hypothesis. So this one is greater than 80%. So in words, this is online learning. has increased the average grade of Harris students. From 80%. How are we going to, of course, formulate the null hypothesis? The null hypothesis, therefore, H, H sub O is equal to 80%. So, we can say in words that online learning has not increased. It's just the opposite of the alternative. The average grade of hard students from 80%. Example number three. The management of Starstruck Canteen wants to know if the services in a newly renovated canteen are different from the services before the renovation took place. So this one is our now hypothesis. The services in a 
in the new newly renovated canteen have not changed. Okay, so in symbol, that means now and before. It does not change. So same, same services before and For after. the alternative hypothesis, we have the services in the newly renovated canteen have changed. And for the symbol, this is now is not equal to, of course, before. Number four, a company manufactures ball bearings from precision machines. The average diameter of a certain type of ball bearing should be 6 mm. To check that the average diameter is correct, the company formulates a statistical test. Okay, so this one is number 4. This is the null hypothesis. The average, average diameter of a ball bearing is 6 mm. 6 mm. So, therefore, in symbol, this one is 6 mm. Okay. So, our alternative hypothesis would be the average diameter of a ball bearing is not equal to 6 mm. Okay. So this is it's not equal to 6 mm.